Today I'm going to be showing you guys an app called AutoSleep. All you need to use AutoSleep is your Apple Watch and your phone. What's really cool about AutoSleep is that it automatically tracks your sleep habits as long as you're wearing your watch at night to sleep. There are no buttons to press. All you do is put on your watch, fall asleep, and then wake up the next morning with a whole bunch of data that was used to analyze your sleeping habits. Um, this app provides a lot of different views and trends, so I'm going to be breaking down some of these features in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, then please go ahead and subscribe down below. Let's get started. When you open up AutoSleep for the first time, the first thing that's going to load is the Today screen. Now this Today screen shows your sleep session from the previous night to this morning. So in my Today view, at the top you see the sleep session, which shows you a graph of how long you're awake for, um, when you had light sleep, still sleep, and deep sleep. Deep sleep is indicated by purple bars. Still sleep is indicated everything below that blue line. Light sleep is indicated by the blue bars. And awake is indicated by the green bars. There's also red bars, which is showing you the, your heart rate, which saw my average heart rate while sleeping last night was 70 beats per minute. So my sleep time last night was from 1.31 a.m. to 11.15 a.m. It was a late night. On the right of that, you see 8 hours and 59 minutes of actual sleep time and 9 hours and 44 minutes of sitting in bed. When you scroll down, you see other views in your today. You have your time asleep rings, your sleep rating rings, your latest bedtime, and your readiness for the day. You also see lights off and open heart watch, which we'll discuss in another video. Each of these different views shows you a consolidated summary of that particular view. So for time of sleep, it says 8 hours and 59 minutes and a sleep bank of 32.6% debt. It also shows a sleep rating of 8 hours and 59 minutes, 6 hours of 13 minutes of quality sleep, 2 hours and 44 minutes of deep sleep, and an average heart rate of 70 beats per minute. So if I want to go into one of these to see more detail, it actually shows you all the detail when you click on it. And then you also see an explanation of each of these different features. What's really cool about this app too is that it allows you to add um, a Siri shortcut. So you can bring up your sleep rings in Siri. You can also go into the latest bedtime to show you when your bedtime typically is. So typically on a weekday I go to sleep at 9 p.m. Um, my wake time is usually around 5 a.m. So it calculates based on that. When you set up the app for the first time, it'll have you go through a step-by-step -step procedure to set up based on what your sleep cycles are. So that is the today view. When you go to clock, it shows you a different view. It shows you a lot of the same stuff that you saw in the today view, but in more depth. So with any of these rings, which we have sleep, deep, BPM and quality, you can touch each one to see the trends of that ring. Every day you'll get a wellness score. Today's readiness score is a 6.14. You also get a sleep bank. You have sleep hygiene trends. Um, you can do sleep efficiency trends and more. Let's say you have let's say you have a day where you didn't wear your watch. You can also exclude that day if the day is inaccurate. The coolest feature about this app is that you can really see trends of data. So when you scroll down on this clock view and then you hit the sleep session 1.31 a.m. to 11.15 a.m., if you tap that, it shows you a detailed graph of your night. So it shows you which periods of time that you were in deep sleep, still sleep, light sleep, how your heart rate fluctuated throughout the night, and how long you're awake for. Scrolling down, it shows even more detail. It shows that I fell asleep in zero minutes, so I fell asleep pretty fast. It says that I was awake slash disrupted for 45 minutes last night. It shows that I was in light sleep for five hours and 44 minutes, still in restful for 29 minutes, and deep sleep for two hours and 44 minutes. My sleep efficiency was 92%, so they gave me a five-star rating. For the heart report, it shows that I had a 33% dip. You also have the history trends. So here, what you're seeing are the different days. So you have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and it shows you your trends. These trends are based on what you require for sleep. So when you set up the app for the first time, it'll ask you how much sleep do you require for you to feel ready. So for me, I put seven hours. So you can also change the view to your quality sleep, your in bed at, your heart rate, 
deep sleep, sleep rating, which shows you a really cool view of all your rings, and more. You can also filter it based on trends that you put in. Let's say that you feel that a day was kind of off and that it wasn't accurate. You can go into day edit and you can actually change that here by going to edit and choosing which data points to exclude. So that was the AutoSleep app. This app is available on the App Store for a price and I highly recommend it. Right now there are no auto sleep tracking features on the Apple Watch, so I think this app really takes it to the next level. So if you're looking to really analyze your sleep and are really interested in seeing trends and data associated with that, then I highly recommend this app. As I said earlier, this is a paid app, but I really highly recommend it. You're getting so much data with it and um, the developer is very good with keeping updates and informing you of what these cool updates are. So yeah, if you like this video, then please go ahead and subscribe down below. If you really like this video, then go ahead and give this video a like. So until next time, guys.